and welcome everyone to Land of Illusion. Now, this is an interesting little game that uh, came out on the Sega Master System back around 91, 1992. And interestingly enough, it was actually the first game that I actually played and completed as a kid. So, looks like we need to go and visit the princess that lives in the castle in the clouds. So, we'll have to go through the forest to begin with, I believe. So, it has been a very long time since I have played this. <laughs> and I'm not doing too good to begin with. So, let's just get used to the buttons again. There we go. So, that first bit, we'll just put that down to getting used to the controls again. Oh, found some cake. Cake is always good for your health. Okay, how are we going to get through this? jump over it. Well, oh, let's come back. Can you duck under it? Oh, oh well, that's easier. So, Castle of, Castle of Illusion was the first in the series, and then they continued it on with Land of Illusion. Um, these were releases that uh, came out in tangent with the uh, Sega Genesis, or the, the Mega Drive as we know it in Australia or even in Europe and uh, I've played the Mega Drive versions as well and they are a little bit different but for some reason the Master System version I just I'm a bit more fond of it just ha seems to have a better better level of gameplay to it you know it's got the two button attack and jump, whereas with the uh, the Genesis version, the jump button also doubled as the attack button. Um, you also had a throw in the Genesis version, whereas in this, you don't actually have any items like apples or... No, I thought there was a secret off to the edge there. But you don't actually have any items in this that you can use to actually throw like uh, like the apples or the marbles or what you got in that game and even the uh, Castle of Illusion remake that came out oh, snakes bloody respawned on me um, or the, uh, the Castle of Illusion remake that was done by Sega earlier on I believe it was uh, last year or the year before Finally pass through the forest and heading into the lake. Now, what was very interesting about Land of Illusion when I started playing it through is a lot of the levels themselves, they're, they're linear, but they're not. You tend to find yourself having to come back and visiting some of the levels as things will actually change in the land as you progress. And that's something I found was absolutely genius, considering this is a, a Master System title. Really didn't need that cake then. And it was something that was very rarely seen back in those days, where you really had a, a level select and moved yourself around the map. get washed back. <laughs> Don't drown, Mickey. I wonder what's in that chest. Alright, we'll have to wait for that to go past. Ah, coin for score. Back up here, get some more air. Alright, let's go. I don't think we're too far away from the door. Hopefully we can make it. Oh! 
so this isn't going to be a speed run by any means, just messing around playing the game. And if I do end up finishing it, well, that'd be awesome. Oh, it's up here. Okay. Just a cliff. That little bugger looks like he's got something. There we go. Key. Okay, that should have spawned a door somewhere. It might be up here. There we go. to the blacksmith's castle. Now, this one caused me a lot of grief as a kid, as you could probably see, a lot of it is running and trying to get through and get away from the fire dudes. There's another one, so we'll try and... Oh, we can't get under there. Have to go over the top. Oh my god, chest cut. Gotta pick it all up. <laughs> oh, bye fire dude. His only weakness is water. Alright, there's another one down here. Oh, two blocks. Gotta get him out of the way. Yep, there we go. We made it through. What have we got now? Dragons. Okay, they come out the lava. Oop. Oh. So the game itself is challenging, but not too difficult for a game made back in the early 90s. It's well, you could understand if it was challenging. Um, a lot of people talk about you know, Nintendo Hard or Sega Hard. This game itself was uh, difficult, but surprisingly fair. A lot of the time... Uh, oh, that's an extra health. All right, so we'll take the spring and go get that. Wonderful. So, uh, the game itself is actually very, very fair um, on its enemy placement. It was a very, very well done game. Um, the one thing that does make the game difficult overall is oh, just really remembering um, throughout the game what items you have and uh, in what way you need to use them. Um, and also, of course, where you need to go. Don't want to fall in the lava. No. Uh, one health left. That's not too good. And um, the boss battle. Giant dragon. Oh. Don't. Oh, wrong way. No. Oh, he's dead. Okay. And it looks like we've just saved the blacksmith. What have you got to say, Horace Horse? The bad magic had me trapped in my own castle. Thanks for setting me free. Your path lies through a tiny cavern up ahead, but in order to enter it, you have to shrink in size. There's a shrinking potion in the castle ruins. Now that the fire in my castle has weakened, the water in the lake has risen. You should be able to find a passage to the ruins from the lake. Please accept this magic flute. Use it and it will take you back to any place you have travelled before. Okay, so we can actually go and do these levels again as well. So tiny cavern stage, so we can't actually get through there at all, so we do need to go back to the lake. Alright. 
Oh, I see. The water re water level is a lot higher than it was before. All right. Oh, and there's f nastier fishies here too. a bit over here. I'll just try and keep along the top, I guess, because, well, if the water's this high, we could probably... Ah, oh, come on. We could probably just swim along the top here and... Ah, there we go. Wouldn't have been able to reach this before. So this looks like an alternate exit. Yeah, that's opened up the path to the castle ruins. Oh, great. Okay, so it's... The typical haunted house where it's... Oh! Where it's dark without that. Okay, well, is there another one over here? There is. I'll just kill the pumpkin. Oh, this isn't going too well at all. It contains cake! Alright. Cake. Solving the world's problems one piece at a time. Okay, okay so it's well lit now. Alright, so this looks like a double jump. up there. Oh. I guess we'll just have to miss that one. Let's jump down here. He's floating pretty high. I don't think I can jump up to him. So we'll just move past. So we got rid of them, ghosty goose. And got more cake. Okay, so if I remember right, these are unbreakable. So I'll try and Oh, crap, it disappeared. Okay, so that's there now underneath the pumpkin. Oop. Or it's under the floor. Hopefully it's still there under the pumpkin. It is. Okay. And we'll take another one with us and we'll go... Oh! Oh, at least that let me... put it in a safer place. These pumpkins are really annoying. You can bloody die. Oh, shit! I did not expect them to break like that. Hopefully we can make it now. Um, nah. <laughs> that was poor form. I really wasn't expecting them to break with the... Uh, the butt stomp. That was just surprising. Okay, so we'll just get through this now. A bit quicker than we did before, because the chest isn't there. Alright, so it's there. We'll just drop a, a couple down here. So you really need to pick them up in sequence, because if you end up with two blocks on top of each other, the problem with that is you can't pick up two blocks at once. So, you kind of need to pick up the ones off the top. That might be enough, maybe. Uh, okay, well, we'll take that one. So, if I end up taking this block, for instance, you can't pick up the others, so you need to take them off the top here. There we go, so that way I can actually make a platform here. It looks like you actually need all three to jump up there, so... 
get that up there. Oh. It was just a coin. Oh. Oh, okay. It's one of these rooms. So, screen moving puzzles. Hopefully it was cake. Can we go back and get it, maybe? No, it despawned. Bugger. Oh, that jack o' lantern can stay where he is. We yeah, can jump through the blue blocks. Hopefully we won't get squished. Oh! So we got the key now. Bit of screen lag there. That's because of the pumpkin. No, 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 no. Get the key. Get the key. We'll just put you there. in the way. Die, stupid pumpkin. No. Alright. Needs to give us enough time to pick up the key. So there's another one there as well. Okay. So we've got to just make it to the switch. key to get through there as well. Just wait for the screen a bit more. Run, run! Go, Mickey! Oh, shit, we missed it. Alright, that should be enough time now. Use the key just to get a bit more time there. We made it. Oh. Ghost boss. Eat ass. Oh, fire now, huh? Oh, okay. Um, need to watch the fire on where it's at from how he attacks. He's down, and we got an extra life. Oh, the ghosty left us a bottle. Oh, the magic potion. Of course. Oop. Don't want the key to fall on us, it might kill us. <laughs> I don't think it would, though. probably just leave it here for now guys and next time we'll go through the tiny cavern and see what lies beyond hope you're enjoying it so far and uh, hope to see you guys for the next episode take care everyone and happy gaming